How do you quickly draw the potential energy curve for, well, basically any molecule, but the one kids get asked about most is the H2 plus ion. The reason they're asked about that is that hydrogen itself is just a proton. And then if you bond two of them together and take one of the electrons away, you just have one electron that's in between them. Now that electron is in the space between them and it, it can spend more time around one or the other, but to simplify the system, you got a plus and a minus and a plus. So like electrically and from a physics standpoint, this is easy to deal with. Again, it doesn't actually matter what molecule you've been given. Any two atoms that are approaching each other will have this kind of curve, okay? So the point is, when these pluses are as far apart apart as possible, how much are they interacting? The answer is they're hardly interacting at all. So I want this asymptote over here to be zero. Now, what if the two pluses were smushed right up against each other? What happens to those like charges? Well, like charges, those pluses repel, despite the fact that we have a little bit of glue in there. So the closer and closer you try to jam the positives together, the more they're going to resist each other. I want a vertical asymptote here. Is there a magical distance between which these pluses don't repel each other so much that the electron is actually able to simultaneously attract both of them? Yes. And because the positive sees the negative, and that positive sees the negative, and they're not repelling as much as they do in this scenario, when they're very close together, we're going to say that some of, the, some of the potential energy has been released. So I want a dot somewhere down here, you know, closer to the y-axis than infinity, <laughs> and uh, below the zero line for potential energy. Then from there, I want you to draw a little U shape. That U shape actually does continue here because it's a quadratic explosion in potential energy as two like charges are approaching each other. And then here, as they get go away from each other, I want this to approach zero, like a horizontal asymptote. The idea being that the two protons can't be on top of each other they also can't be infinitely far apart. There is a magical distance uh, at the bond length, I guess you could say, between which that glue is able to hold the pluses in place perfectly. Hey, I hope that made sense. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.